Hey everybody, it's Rich with the ESP8266 and Arduino-based smart lock. So you can see we've made a lot of progress. We've got the kind of the chassis built up. Um, that's all 3D printed. And the motor's mounted in there with uh, the encoder, which is visible there, and the board's on the front. So there are two ways to open the, the lock. You can do the button on the back or by the website. So the door is currently locked, which you can C is true on the site as well. So if we hit the button on the back, you'll hear the door unlock, you'll hear beep, and we'll be able to see the new state on the site. So it's now unlocked. And once we hear a beep, that means the website's been updated. Here we go. So if we reload the page, door is currently unlocked and we have the option to lock it again, so let's do that over the internet. So you just heard the door lock there, and then proof that it's locked, and then on the beep, the site will update. So the site actually updated slightly before uh, the beep happened, which is what it's designed to do. So that's the quick demo. Um, this is kind of prototype number one. I'll do one more video of the last prototype and um, that uh, another team member worked on. Um, but now let's go over the 3D printed hardware. So I was kind of thinking the best way to look at the hardware would be to watch me remove the lock from the door. Um, so I'll try and do my best with one hand. Um, so let's go. Let's first we'll uh, actually, first let's unplug the encoder. So that's this jack here. That's just a male and a female header pair. There we go. So yeah, that's the encoder jack. I'll also undo the motor. Pull those leads out. Awesome. And then the board lifts right out. It's just kind of clamped in slightly. So just put that on the floor. So now you can kind of see how it's laid out. We've got the slots for the board to get into. Um, one at the bottom, one on the sides. These guys wiggle a bit, so I should have drafted a bit of uh, support here. Um, but that's okay, it's just prototype. And the, the, the slots are also a little thick. Um, so that would be another change I'd make. But you can see the, the encoder board mount, this yellow piece here, kind of helps to hold in the motor. This is actually just a pressure fit, um, and I actually nailed the sizing the first time I 3D printed it. Um, I've removed it a bunch of times, so it's a little loose now, but it still works to hold the motor in, which is fine. So let's pull that off. You kind of see how this part works. So we've got a little bump in the, or a little divot in the bottom to, to accommodate that screw there. And then that just holds the little encoder. Put that aside. And we've got the encoder. So this particular lock only rotates 90 degrees to lock or unlock. So we just kind of need 90 degrees worth of space blocked out. Uh, to sense that change. And then the motor just sits in a little kind of cradle thing and pulls right out. And you can see this piece, this coupler on the front, um, is what mounts to the door, or goes into the log rather. So it's just a, for my lock, is a four millimeter square. And just fits right onto the motor shaft. That was all really easy to do with 3D printing. And the chassis itself just has the arms to hold the board, the um, cradle for the motor, and it's actually got a little ridge here that the motor rests on to provide room for that screw, and um, two slots for the screws to go into uh, to mount to the door. So I did slots because I wasn't 100% confident in um, how far apart those holes were. 
um, also lets it be adaptable to multiple doors, which is nice. Um, and then this hole up here is just to save some uh, cost with the 3D printing, because any material you don't use, you don't pay for. And same with this indent here, that's also to save cost. And it just screws onto the lock like that. So that's about it guys, thanks for watching the ESP8266 and Arduino Smart Lock Overview. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, and then I'll be putting one more video of the final, final prototype. Thanks for watching.